I'm Alex with The Great Outdoors. Today we found a bumblebee in the family of Bombus. And what could easily be the most exciting news this year in animal conservation and wildlife preservation, the discovery of the Wallace's giant bee marks a milestone in animal conservation. In January, a team of researchers set out to photograph and study the Wallace's giant bee and successfully rediscovered the species in the northern Malacca Islands off of Indonesia. The find resurrects hope that more of the region's forests still harbor this very rare species. This large bee species was named after Alfred Russell Wallace, a co-discoverer alongside with Charles Darwin of the theory of evolution and natural selection. Many of you who have watched my channel for some time know how much I talk about Charles Darwin. He truly is my role model, or my idol, or something like that. This bee exhibits some very large mandibles that are reminiscent of the staghorn beetles. Although little is known about the bee, the species depends primarily on lowland forests for resin and nests of tree-dwelling termites. As with a lot of the species I talk about on this channel, habitat loss and forest destruction due to agriculture are some of the reasons why this species is so close to extinction. But hey, this is a good day, a milestone, a turning point in the preservation of ecosystems and animals. For if you think one's extinct, you have to rediscover it before you can preserve it. Wallace's giant bee has the largest wingspan of any bee species at two and a half inches long. That makes this bumblebee look like a regular bee. And in fact, Wallace's giant bee is four times larger than the honeybee. Something like this deserves our full undivided attention. And anything we can do to help preserve and maintain the habitat for these amazing species should be done so no questions asked. I really appreciate y'all watching my channel and all my subscribers out there. If you haven't already, tap that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. As well, tap the like button and post any comments you have. Guys, just remember, YouTube is a social platform. Don't hesitate to be social, just like bees. Especially when you live in a yard like ours where there's nothing in our yard but grass. Like obviously when we moved in here, a lot of you already know this was basically a desert. So it was just a grassy field. It was kind of times years ago. And uh, doing our best to kind of restore the habitat. And a uh, really cool thing was we just saw a huge congregation of some sort of bird. I'm not sure what it is. Um, if any of y'all know what it is. 